Hey, what's up, Zach Calhoun here. How you guys doing today? We are going to, in this video, show you as a Dropbox user, how do I add a single image into a info spot? Like this, where it pops up. This image is hosted on Dropbox right here. Yet it's popping up on Cloud Pano because I added it to an HTML info spot and it looks nice. How do we do it? Or how do I add a menu? Or how do I add any cool picture that I'm hosting on Dropbox? Um, here is how we do it. So, Log into your Dropbox account. <clears throat> Go to the file, the image you want to add into that info spot. For example, this image right here. Uh, click the share button. Okay. Then go to copy link. Okay. Copy that link. You got a link. I want you to open this link. Actually, I'm going to open it up in uh, incognito to show you what I don't want you to do, actually. So um, I open link up and Dropbox has me to sign in. Well, we can't have that on our info spot, right? So what you have to do is you take this link that's here and the last one, two, three, four characters you have to change. Okay. And I'm going to show you to what? I found a short article about this. That you need to change it to question mark raw equals one. Okay. So I'm going to copy that question mark raw equals one. Question mark raw equals one. I can do it really to any of these, any of these links I've got, I've got here. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to delete those last four characters and add question mark raw equals one. Okay. Click enter. It's going to take me to just a page right here of just the image. That's what I want. Okay. Now this is the link I want right here. This output link up here. It's all kinds of random numbers and letters and, and dots and whatever. Go. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this, this link. Okay. So control A, select all, control C. Go back to Cloud Panda. I'm going to go to edit tour. I'm not going to paste that link into my info spot, but I'm going to show you the steps so you know. Click on your info spot. I'm going to delete this out of here. There's a little bit of text on the bottom of our HTML pop up. It says, need help writing some HTML? And the answer to you, of course, is yes. Try this out. So click that button, opens up a new tab. It is a online HTML editor. This is for you. This is, this is for you so you can plug stuff into here. Um, and just see how it looks as an HTML uh, output. So on the right side is stuff that you're manually editing, and the left side is the code you need, the output code. So you click Insert, Image. You're going to paste that code we already have on our clipboard. Click OK. You're going to see the image appeared here. That's a massive image. So it would appear really, really, if I use just this code right here, it would appear very, very big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it way down. I'm just going to drag and drop it down. I'm going to do actually a few times just because I need to be much smaller. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think you guys understand the drift here. Cool. There's the image. I like that size. Now, here's what I want. Here is what I want. This is the HTML code I want. I'm going to copy that code. Okay. I'm going to go back to Cloud Pino, paste it into my raw HTML. Click Save Info Spot. I'm going to click Publish. Here's my example tour. Here's the info spot. I'm gonna click it, and there's the image. If I want to make it bigger, I just go back to my HTML editor or make it a little bigger, and then I copy and paste that code. That very simple, just like that. That's how you utilize Dropbox. Remember that question mark raw equals one is the special code you can put at the end. A little bit extra work if you're a Dropbox user, but that is how you add images hosted on Dropbox into an info HTML info spot on Cloud Pano. Thank you for watching.